It's a building that Jeff Bledsoe has kept an eye on for years. We've actually been driving past this barn for the past 25 years, going back and forth to Omaha from Blair, and I've always admired this barn. Bledsoe was the owner of the Skinny Bones Pumpkin Patch, and when he heard this 119-year-old barn was set to be torn down, he couldn't let it happen. The timbers in this barn are so thick and heavy, you walk into it and you just go, wow, they, they don't make them like this anymore. So how do you go about moving this barn more than seven miles north? Well, you do it by truck. Traffic was slow on Highway 133 Wednesday night as the barn made its way with the help of state patrol and others making sure the structure could get through the roadways. There's actually a total of eight or nine power lines that will have to be taken down so the barn fits underneath. So they have a couple crews that's going to be taking down the wire as they pull up to it. More than six hours later, the barn finally made it to its new home. If you look inside the barn here, the craftsmanship is just so much better in our opinion than something you could buy today. Zach Trevis, the farm manager at Skinny Bones, says they will be repainting the barn and the inside will undergo some renovation to include a full service bakery among other things. It's going to totally change the look, but still preserve the integrity of the barn. It'll still have that authentic barn feel in there. Bledsoe is excited the move is over and looks forward to what this historical building will bring to his property. A lot of the people from the city don't get to go inside of an old barn like this, especially since a lot of them are falling down and, and we're hoping they can just come in and look at the architecture of it and how they were, were built and, and just enjoy it like we do. In Blair, John Madden, 3 News Now. The crew hopes to have the project completed and the barn open to the public by the start of the fall season.